What is up guys? My name is Ashford and welcome back to the next episode of our Pokemon Moon Let's Play. In the previous episode, we made it all the way around Route 5. We also took on uh, Kawaii and finished him off there. If you guys didn't miss the previous episode, definitely make sure to go back and check it out. In today's episode, we're going to be taking on the Grass type trial, Malo, and uh, continuing on in this fantastic game. So I don't want to go this way just yet. We're going to be heading straight into this trial. Wait, hold up. We might want to heal up first. Actually, you know what? We're fine. We're fine. We have plenty of potions. Let's get straight into this. So here we are entering Lush Jungle. The home of Mallow. What's up? Thanks for stopping by. Welcome to Lush Jungle, the trial grounds for me, Mallow. I knew it the first time I saw you and your team. You've chosen only the finest ingredients. That's why I'm going to make you help me, or no. I mean, that's why you should try my trial. You are the one who got a sparkling stone stripped from top of Coco, aren't you? You're so totally ready for this. Ah, the breath of the jungle. I can tell just what today's special should be. I like the music, it's very tropical. Very, very tropical. Yep, it's gotta be a personal specialty, the Mallow Special. I'm gonna need you to find or find four ingredients for me. I'll need a mango berry, a tiny mushroom, a revival herb, and a miracle seed. Here you go, I brought you a forage bag to hold all the ingredients together for your trial. So, we just have to collect ingredients? All right, simple enough. If you put the trial ingredients in your own bag, they get mixed up with your stuff, right? When you're hunting for ingredients, you're gonna wanna rely on Stoutland's help. they will find things they don't see after all. You remember what I told you at the farm, right? Just press the B button. So that, that's why she gave us Stoutland for this trial, okay. There are four things you need to get for me to clear your trial. Am I go berry? I'm gonna write this down. I'm, I'm gonna write this down. Because I feel like since she's repeating it, we're going to need to remember it. A mag we have a Mago Berry Tiny Mushroom Revival Herb Miracle Seed. Alright, so now we have that list written down. We have our shopping list. Let's do this. Okay, then here in Lush Jungle, it's time for Mild's Trial to begin. Hey, our fourth trial. We're making a lot of progress in this game. Look at us, look at us. Now I'm not such a big fan of jungles. Where are all the coffee machines at, huh? <laughs> I like your personality. Alright, so we can't go that way. Oh, we gotta use Stoutland, obviously. Forgot about that. We would've been wandering around, not knowing what, what to do. Oh, hey. Oh! Mushrooms? We need tiny mushrooms. Alright, one ingredient down. Three to go. But the big mushroom attacked. What? <laughs> Is it gonna be an Amoongus? If so. Yo! Yo, I love this thing! What type is it again? Is it grass berry? I love this thing so much. I love this thing so much. What like honestly, I love the Gen 7 Pokemon. And I'd say I'd say she she no no tick and more lore are, what, are like some of my favorites. I didn't expect it to be a Shinotic. I thought it was gonna be a, an Amoongus. I was like, nah, they're not gonna throw a Shinotic on us this early on in the game. All right, do we know what type it is? It's Bug Fairy, right? Okay, well that wasn't very effective, so let's swap. Let's go into Cipher. I feel like Cipher is gonna be very useful to us. And also, I completely forgot we have to put the Fiery MZ on Cypher in today's episode, because there's no way I'm going into a grass trial without it. So can we just run, or do we ha- I think we have to fight him. Let's go for the Ember. You got this. Actually, sh I should've went for Smog. Because if he's Grass Fairy, that's four times super effective. Mega Drain, that was a crit, too. Alright, this thing is bulky. This thing is fat. Honestly, I would not mind using a Shinotic. I might actually use one on- on my Sun Team. Let's go for Smog, it should be four times super effective, right? Boom! That did a good amount of damage. Sleep Powder, boy. Boy, don't get- I like the sleep animation, but don't give me that. Oh! The Lumberry pulls through! The Lumberry pulled through! Wow. Wow. That was pretty great. Alright, Smog this man. Ah, uh, bruh! Come on! You couldn't have done just a little bit more damage? Alright, whatever. Whatever. Hopefully, guys, I'm having a great day today, though. Uh, this is like, I think this is like my third episode 
in this session of recording. So my voice is kind of dying on me. My commentary skills are all over the place. But hopefully guys still have a great day. Um, I've actually gotten a lot, of a lot of stuff done today. I recorded the metronome rock, and I, this is my third episode of recording this, as I said. I also edited a video today as well. I mean, considering I woke up at like 1 p.m., I'm pretty, pretty happy with how much I was able to get done today. And also, winter break is coming up very, very soon, which is awesome. Hopefully you guys are excited for that. And if you guys want to wear, I actually might get like almost an extra week of winter break. Just because if you guys want to wear, at my school district, uh, or in my school system, they have this policy where if you, if you have three or less absences, and if you, if you have a 90 or above in the class, uh, you actually get exempt from the final. So there's a very, very good chance, assuming I don't get, get any more absences, um, I'll be able to be exempt from three, from the, pretty much the last three days of school I'll be exempt, and I, I won't have to go. So, that's pretty dope, and I think, I think with those three extra days, I end up having, like, it basically just wraps around to the next week, and then I get, like, a total of three weeks off for Christmas. Hopefully you guys are excited for Christmas, if you celebrate, hopefully you guys are excited for the holidays. I'm really excited, I know for a fact, I've been asking for a bunch of cool stuff, and, uh, you know what? It's question of the day. I don't know if this is actually the, question, actually the question of the day, but let me know down below, what are you asking for for Christmas, or if you're not celebrating Christmas, what are you asking for? For whatever your holiday is that you celebrate, let me know down below. There's a secret to why they're so popular to some people. You have to try to find one. You have to try to find one to find out what it is. Still three ingredients left to go. Uh, we still need a whole big helping. Alright, so who are we making this for? Let's keep going, though. I, I like this idea, though. I like how they're incorporating the ride Pokemon into this. Alright, where, where are we going now? Oh! We can't go that way. Oh, there's a TM over there. Let's keep going. We got an egg special attack. All right, not quite what we needed, but it's pretty useful. Wait, what, what, what are we doing? Hello? Did we just get, did we just get a... Hey, it's a Fomantis. I was gonna say, did we just get like sabotaged? Alright, that's pretty cool. I would not mind using a Fomantis either. But we already have Houdini and stuff. Alright, let's Silverwind. Honestly, I might use a, a Lorantis in my, uh, in my Sun copy. But yeah, I, I do like Lorantis. It's a really cool Pokemon. Is that- that's- you know what? That's probably the Totem Pokemon. That's probably the Totem Pokemon. I mean, I was gonna say, uh, Shinotic was the Totem Pokemon. But I feel like Lorantis is probably the Totem Pokemon here. I, I would not be surprised if that was the case. Down, down, now. Alright, should we go this way? Actually, I wanna... We already came from here, never mind. Let's go this way. Let's keep going. Oh. We can't get... I thought it was a door. We can't keep going. So this is like a dead end. Let's go back. Let's go this way. So I'm pretty sure this is like, it seems like a maze. Dude, this reminds me of, this reminds me of the Lost Woods from Zelda. Heal Powder, not, not quite what we need if I can speak, but... Uh, item? It's a rather suspicious looking grass, will you pull it up? Hey, okay. At first I was like, is it a Pokemon? Oh, there, there's the Pokemon. But yeah, I'm liking this concept. It's like the first trial was was tracking down the the Pokemon that were running around. The second one was was I, I guess investigating a splash. The third one was the dances and like spying the difference. And then this is all about finding ingredients for. So I mean, I, I like how different these trials are than regular gym battles. I feel like it fits Alola a lot better, to be honest. And there's the boost, nice and powerful. Nice and destructive. But yeah, I am liking how how this, this all comes together. And I'm liking these different ideas, and it's, it's not just it's not just like a gym puzzle. Like, when I first heard of Trials, I thought it was just gonna be just like, you know, the puzzles in gyms. But just in, in island trial form. So it's gonna be like, it was gonna be like, uh, just like a series of trainers 
and then there would just be like a maze or like depending on the typing it would be it would be just like a regular gym puzzle but these are not regular gym puzzles these are these are like activities you know what I'm saying it's bitter bite is even a shock to Pokemon but that that that's what will adapt to the flavor so two more ingredients left to get just a little more to find okay we need two more what's this Oh, we can crawl through this. Hello? Oh, there's the TM. We got Grass Knot. All right, that's a pretty cool TM. So actually, before I forget, we have to put the Fire MZ on um, on our Salazzle, or our soon-to-be Salazzle here. There we go. So now we have three Z-moves on three different Pokemon. Honestly, I want to get rid of the one on Mudbray, because I feel like that's just too much. I feel like that's just way too much. So let's see. What can we give... What can we give to Mudbray? And also, we need something for Grubbin, too. Um... Um... Let's see... Nothing? Do we have anything? Uh, let's just- let's just give- let's just give him... Let's give him an Orenberry. I know it's not as good as the Fighting MZ, but honestly... Honestly, the Fighting type attack doesn't do as much because it's not even Stab. And also, it's just, I don't know, I feel like having more than, more than two is just kind of a waste. And you know what, let's give, let's give the Chesto Berry to Hawk. Well, I, I mean, I meant give. Yeah, let's give it, alright. Yeah, I feel like that would be a lot better, having, um, having those items on the Pokemon. Because I feel like we just had way too many Z-Crystals, and I, I definitely wanted Cypher to have, definitely wanted Cypher to have the, the Fire one. Alright, we gotta put, eh. I should put Dirty Dan up front, but he's obviously weak to grass. He really can't do much. So we're going to just leave with Cypher. And also, I really want to use that Z-move, so let's go back. But yeah, this is a lot more mazy than I thought it would be. Let's get back on Stoutland. Oh, item. Oh. Yep, pull it up. Hey, we got another one. Wait, no, it's not. I second glance, it's just a normal weed. Huh. Bamboozled again. <laughs> Alright, what do we got? Another Formantis? I'm sorry, Formantis. Like, I really, really am sorry. But, you're not living this. My boy. My boy, you're not living this. Hold up. So yeah, you guys can see this is 100 base power physical. And then this one is... 100 base power special. So, since, uh, actually, I'm really confused. Okay, so you guys know how I was telling you about how, like, they add sparkles to the one that is stronger? Well, there's sparkles on both of them because they're equal power. I don't know why they're equal power. Is Flame Charge, are Flame Charge and Ember the same base power? Anyways, I want to go for the special one, though, because we do have a higher special attack stat, so we're going to go for that. I mean, either way, I'm sure it's going to kill, but... So here we go, in our ride gear and everything. Blow this man away! Decimate this man! Salazzle's ready. Salazzle's ready. Oh, you you think you're living this? You think you're living this? Boy! That is so powerful. That is so powerful. Boom! I'm pretty sure with that attack, we'd burn down the entire forest. There wouldn't be any forest left. It would just be all ashes. Okay. Alright, we need to find- oh. Hello? Hello? Ingredient? Oh! Hey! Alright. So are we going the right way? I'm a little bit lost. Oh wait. Yeah, let's pull it up. Just a normal weed! So I'm pretty sure we gotta go back and um, take a different path here, cause I, I think I think this is all we're gonna find here. Just revival herbs. All right, Cipher. Can we just run? There's no running from a trial. Oh, okay. I was actually curious about that. I was actually curious about that because because you you can't run from like a totem Pokemon, obviously, but you you can't run, period. Like, even like the wild Pokemon, you just, you just can't run from them. 
I mean, I guess if you say so, Mallow, we'll just decimate all the Fomantis in here. She really must hate the Fomantis because she's making me kill all of them. They're gonna go extinct. You better catch them all you can. All right, now we're level 20, that's beautiful. So the, the Totem Salazzle was at level 22. And I'm wondering if that's just like a special case or if Salazzle actually does evolve that early on. All right, can we go back now? There we go. Let's keep going. X events. So I'm trying to figure out exactly where we've been and where we haven't been. I'm lost though. I'm really lost. Is this backtracking? Um, we gotta use Tauros. So yeah, this is a new area, hold up. I mean, maybe we don't have to use Tauros. No, we definitely do. All right, Tauros. All right, go back to Stoutland. That's cool how they make, they make you use both. X-Attack, all right, not quite what we needed. Let's blow up these rocks over here as well. And there's a strength boulder. That's very interesting. So there's definitely a, a strength, a strength wide Pokemon. There has to be. Uh, I think we have to break this and it's gonna be underneath this. All right, Tauros, boom. See, I'm looking forward to see, seeing what the strength Pokemon is. Seed, we got a Miracle Seed, nice. It's probably gonna be like a Machamp or, I don't know, maybe, maybe like a, um, like a Conkelder. Yo, that'd be really cool, seeing a Conkelder. Hey, it's me, Malo. That's a great Miracle Seed. Miracle Seeds are bursting with nutrition. They really are a miraculous gift from the jungle. Just one last ingredient left. Go back out there and find it. So we just need the Mago Berry. Is that correct? I think that's all we need. All right, let's jump down here. Now we're back at the very beginning. Because I'm pretty sure that's where these, le these ledges were. All right, so let's head back this way. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. We already went that way, we already went that way. We already went this way. Uh, should we go back up there? Let's go back up here. And just, just see what we can find. Nothing. So I'm pretty sure we can't get wild encounters, just like traditional wild encounters. Which is good because I, I, I would be afraid to be running in this grass right now. All right, can we find anything? All right, I'm lost. Let's go back to the first one. Everything looks so similar, it's hard to... Ooh, ooh, I gotta get that, I gotta get that. It's gotta be important. Eh? I mean, it's not too important. So yeah, sorry guys, I'm like, I'm like not talking as much. Um, I'm just really focused in on this, honestly. Nothing, oh! Hey! Finally! Yeah, I think this will be the last episode that I record today, because I gotta edit for tomorrow. Um, hey, it's me, Milo. Congrats to find that Mago Berry. The bigger and more twisted a Mago Berry, the sweeter it'll taste. Also, my voice is starting to kill me. Like, I really want to play more of this game, it's just my voice. It looks like I got everything. Okay, it's time to start us to, for us to start cooking. So come on, back to the entrance of the jungle. Hey, I, oh man. I was really hoping she would teleport us. Not gonna lie, I was really hoping, hoping she would teleport us, but I guess not. So where is the trial Pokemon? I don't know, I guess we'll see. Hey, Asteroid. Great, now that we've got all the ingredients, we just need... <gasps> kawaii! It's Kawaii. Sorry to keep you waiting. Lana too? How are you, Mallow? Bruh, hello? I brought a thick club and a rare bone. I brought you some fresh water and the usual rocky helmet. 
Thanks, Lana. Thanks, Kawaii. Now we've got everything we need. You're up next, Asteroid. We're going to cook up a storm and lure out the totem Pokemon I've lost. Oh. Oh. Dude, this Lantis is just going to drop down and consume us all. I'm a little bit afraid. Let me see what you've got for me. One Mega Berry, check. One Tiny Mushroom, check. One Revival Herb, check. One Miracle Seed, check. I didn't expect them to show up. Perfect, just what the recipe calls for. Now we can make the Mallow special. The aroma of this tasty dish will draw that ton of Pokemon right to us. Ready to start cooking? Heck yeah. Okay, Lana, flip that Rocky Helmet over and let's pour that fresh water into it. Here you are. Then in go the Mega Berry, the Tiny Mushroom, the Rival Herb, and the Miracle Seed. Kawaii! Let's use the thick club of that rare bone for a moment, or for a minute. Here you are. Okay, Asteroid, grab the thick club and the rare bone and pound it to a pulp. Press A to pound the ingredients. <laughs> okay. Crush it! Yeah! Grind it! Pop it! Twist it! Pull it! Is that what this is? Turn it to goo! Oh my goodness, what? A unique aroma uh, begins to waft around the area. You feel a piercing gaze from somewhere within the underbush, bruh. <laughs> Kawaii's like, ah. Uh, everyone's, um, bruh. That is terrifying. <laughs> it's just chilling behind us. Lorantis, the totem Pokemon of Lush Jungle, has appeared. I like how everyone's facial expression was just like, oh no. Oh no. You were challenged by Totem Lorantis. Wow. Prepare to Totem La Lagantis. I'm trying to make a dumb, a dumb lag pun again. All right, so level 24, what, what boost do you have? He has plus two speed? Oh no. Now we're not going to outspeed it for sure. I'm gonna go for the Inferno Overdrive and just hope we can live whatever he throws at us. We can live this, right? Yes, all right. All right, Inferno, I'm just, straight off the bat, straight off the bat, Z-move. I'm not playing games. I'm not playing games. Let's hit him with that Inferno Overdrive. Just right now, straight off the bat. If it Oko's, I swear. It's probably not gonna Oko, but still. Let's go. Straight away, no hesitation. Destroy this man! That did nothing. That did nothing. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, it's a cast form. Hello? Okay, that did not do enough. I'm gonna heal and just see what he does. Because I feel like losing our Cypher this early on would be a bad idea. I cannot believe Inferno Overdrive did that little. I thought it would do at least over half. I mean, it was 100 base power. Stab. Oh, bruh. We wasted our Z-move. We wasted our Z-move for nothing. And he has Water Gun! No! No! Okay. Okay, we have to deal with this some other way. Houdini. Houdini has this. Because we resist Grass by a fourth, I'm pretty sure. And we have Pluck. And we can also do neutral damage to, uh, to cast on Solar Blade. Oh, no. This attack is powerful. He has a Power Herb. Basically, that, if you guys don't know, that, that is the physical Solar Beam. If you guys weren't aware. Wow. So there goes his item, at least. All right, we resist that. We're fine. Houdini's going to be carrying us through this trial right now. All right. I think we have to get rid of, um, I probably should have used the normal MZ. Instead of the fire one. We have to get rid of the cast form first. x -scissor? Oh no. Ooh, that hurts. I think we gotta prioritize getting rid of that cast form though. Because I'm pretty sure he he has the coverage. He probably... Oh, em, oh, oh, okay. I was gonna say he probably has the coverage that Lorantis lacks. So he probably has like... Flamethrower or something. Especially now that he's, now that he's the fire type. So I'm a little bit concerned. Let's go for the pluck on cast form, because I really want to get that thing out of here. Lorandus really can't touch us, because cast form can, especially if it has ember, water gun, and like, freaking... I don't know. 
Plus one pluck. Weather, yeah, we're done. We're done. The, the oh, I love the animation though. I love the animation, but we're done. This thing is a threat. Now, what do I do now? This thing is plus two speed. I'm going back into Cypher. Because now, now our fire type moves are boosted, which is nice. I was going to go to Rockruff, but the problem is we don't outspeed this Lantis. <sighs> okay. So let's heal up. I know the castle has Water Gun, but now, now it's going to be weakened. Because... The Oh, I just realized! I just realized now that he's in the sun, he can launch off these solar blades like no tomorrow. That is wild. And he goes for headbutt. That is wild. Seriously? Ah, the strategy is real. The strategy is so real. Why you gotta do this to me, man? Alright, let's fully heal again. Hope he doesn't go for Razor Leaf. That's fine. We can live that. We're fine. We're eating that. That was a crit! Alright, Water Gun. It's 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 uh, reduced because of the... Thank you. Okay, I think I have to just go for an attack. I'm gonna Dragon Rage that castle. I'm trying to get it out of here. Because that, that thing is causing so many problems. And then I'll start Embering the Orantis. Alright, can we outspeed the castle at least? Just so we can Oko before it... Yes! Okay, thank you. Thank you. Please kill. Yes! Yes! Okay, we live to see another day. We live to see another day. That thing was so powerful. I right, so if you call on another cast form. Oh, a Trumbeak! Okay. Okay, um, let's heal again. And then we'll start going for Embers on the Lorantis. The problem is the sun is gone now. So we don't get that boost anymore. This is crazy. Cypher is carrying the team right now. Solar Blade. Okay, now it's going to take two turns because of, uh... Because he, the sun is gone. Wow! Are you serious? Are you serious? That is way too much damage. Alright, these trials are difficult, man. I thought they weren't going to be as hard as gyms, but no, they are much harder. I mean, I was told that Sun and Moon is one of the hardest Pokemon games. And I, I believe it now. Pluck, we're gonna die. Sean, we we have to just rock throw. We have to rock throw on that Trumbeak and just hope the Lorantis doesn't knock us out. This sucks, honestly. We've been losing these trials like crazy, man. We might have to grind, actually. <laughs> Alright, so we went for Solar Blade, so he's not going to be able to hit us this turn. Boy, I swear, if you hit yourself. Sean, if you hit yourself, don't. This is your one chance. This is your one chance to do damage. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. So, we have to swap now or else, or else we're going to die. I'm going to go into Sanic. Just because Sanic is fast. And we resist the, the the solar blade. All right, good job, Sanic. We're we're doing this. We're doing this, dude. This thing is so powerful. I love it, bruh. I thought we could take that. Wow. Okay. Let's go back into Sean. Try and get that Trumbeak out of here. This is crazy. Or actually, should I, should I focus on? You know what? I'm gonna focus on the uh, Lorantis. I'm gonna try and sand attack it. Because if it can start missing, then we might stand a better chance. I feel like I feel like focusing on having this thing miss is better than boy. It's better than trying to kill the Trump than trying to kill the Trumpic right now, especially with Sean in here. Don't hit yourself. And now we have to swap or else we're gonna die. Alright, go Hawk! My boy Hawk! Can you live an attack hawk? Oh, uh, this sucks. How many slower blades do you have? Are you out of them yet? That is so much damage. Oh my goodness. Okay. Don't die, Sean. Don't die. Should I focus on the Trumbeak? No, I, ha I have to lower this thing's accuracy. 
I have to lower this thing's accuracy. Come on, Sean, save the team. Save the team. You got this, boy. You got this, man. X scissor, we can live this. Not very effective, not very effective, not very... Boy! What? I'm upset. Alright, Mudbee, Mud, Mud, Mudbee, Mudbray. Focus on knocking out this Trumbeak right now. Because if we can get this Trum, Trumbeak out of here, then I, I was going to say Cypher would be in a much better position. I mean, I'm sorry guys, we keep on losing. But we, we can't win. We actually can't win. There's nothing we can do. Actually, you know what? There is something we can do. Because he's going to take two turns. So let's heal during this turn. We can take a pluck. And hopefully knock out that... That Trumbeak. I don't know. Like, literally, our only saving grace right now is the fact that it takes two turns for him to charge up that Solar Blade. So that they, he can't double attack us. Okay. Um, I have to just hope... I have to hope that we outspeed the Trumbeak. If we don't, then we're screwed. And I also have to hope that we live this. Because if we don't live this, then we're also screwed. Nope. Nope. Alright guys, we're gonna end this video right here. I think in between episodes, we're gonna grind up. And we're going to try again next episode. So thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Next time we're going to be beating this grass head trial. I'm sorry for the cliffhangers. Um, but hopefully you guys understand. Anyways, I'll see you next time. Peace! <laughs>